Gretchen Carlson, welcome to Firing Line. I've known you for forever. We should make sure your viewers know that. That we have known each other for about a decade. And we knew each other even during that time that you were in Fox. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly where I want to begin. We like talent in the United States. We like competitions, right? We, we have The Voice. We have American Idol. We have America's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. She also started the scholarship aspect of Miss America. So that's been around for a really long time, really separating us from other competition. But it goes to show you that no one was paying attention to the yeah. fact that we changed it to a competition a couple years ago. Right. And it mm -hmm. is very narrow in scope because I want it to pass. So that's the pragmatic. But just on a philosophical level, before we get to the details of your bill, do you have a problem with forced arbitration generally? So I generally do have a problem with it. discussions and um, learning more about these laws. So I don't. Really, so there are probably thousands of stories out there of people who have not been given their justice. Um, so your bill, even as the woman I am now who knows Gretchen Carlson, if I counseled my 20-year-old self, if that 20-year-old self would know what to do or how to go about it, because I'm just 20. What young women grapple with, you know, they're they're in their early. What do they do? So this other, it's getting to our young people before they're really set in their. Because look what happens when you do come forward. So if we decide collectively, especially young people in that situation, I know in my twenties, thirty-five years, and one of the reasons it languished is because concern. <laughs> the argument against the Equal Rights Amendment was about the draft. The, will there be more variation in terms of the, the physical presentation, the body shapes? and Because when you do that, you empower more women to know that they're not by themselves. And what's important is that the sponsors of your bill are not just women. Take out arbitration clauses in their employment contract and date that they do it. Well, and it's important to notice that there are companies like the Me Too movement, and he was a to adjudicate his... Stop. We need to recognize that. So, you know, if you have Al Franken... His case had been adjudicated more fairly, mm -hmm. um, but what we've seen is in the court of public opinion. There is no court. It is just, there is a mob mentality. Whoever ...in which I chose to live my life and what I chose to achieve, and to me that anyone would be against the idea that the simple phrase, equal right... That there would... Well, that's precisely right. I mean, isn't changing culture the laws you're working on or that they're mandated to follow the law and they don't necessarily agree with it. But when things actually change it. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just what you said. You said we have to find a way in our communities to solve these problems and size it. Gretchen Carlson, thank you very much for Great your leadership you. and what you've done both in the legislation and in the culture for continuing to be an activist and for a real inspiration for a new generation. Of